vlog. My friends are here. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? Hey! What's your name? Trinity. What are you about? Um, <laughs> I'm about coffee and friends and family. And family? Okay. <laughs> Trinity's about coffee, friends, and family. What's your name? Kaya. What are you about? Um, play with my friends. Play with yeah. your friends? Okay, cool, cool, cool. What's your name? What are you about? <laughs> See, I'm about milk oh, and my mommy. And then you yeah. walk it into here. We're making coffee. Say hi, Jen. Hey, Jen follow just me had on a baby. YouTube. Yeah, I'm telling um, about your YouTube. My YouTube name is JCF Fam. Yes. Okay, trying to get 500 subscribers. Yeah, <laughs> Jen just had a baby. Mm -hmm. So if you need mommy content, I can't do it for you. Go to Jen's YouTube to get all the mommy, wifey content. I can't wait. She's six. She's seven weeks actually. She's seven weeks you today. Seven weeks today? Hello, vlog. It is, what day is it? It's Wednesday? Yeah, it's Wednesday. We're making sweet potato fries per huge. So yummy. If you guys are wondering what I season them with, this is the answer. I usually use olive oil in the pan, but I use vegetable oil because I couldn't find any olive oil. So yeah. I'm trying to plan a prayer board at night for me and all of my friends to come and hang out and have just a night where we go before God and come together and say like, here's some scriptures that we want to lead ourselves in throughout the month. Here's some prayers that we have over our month or over the next two months. And I just want us all to be able to come together and like have that vulnerable moment together and also create like cute prayer boards that we can then take home, put up in our rooms and meditate on throughout the month. So if you guys are like me and you wanna do something like that, then I will show you guys everything that I'm gonna get from Amazon for the girls so that we can get everything done. But Amazon has some really cute stuff. They have like some flower tack pins and some butterfly tack pins and all this stuff. I'm gonna show it to you guys once it gets in so you guys can see exactly what the feel and what the vibe is like. Um, but today is just chilling at home working. I wanted to go out to my offices and do some stuff, but I'm not gonna do it today because it's just the things that I need to get done. I don't have all of the items to get it done. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm sitting here and I have to still finish editing the podcast episode and then I also need to finish editing my vlog, my June vlog, you guys. It's just been like a lot of stuff on my mind and like wanting to get back to posting more on my social media and get back to posting on my YouTube and my podcast and all this stuff and you guys like I literally am just like just trying to stay focused and not intimidated by all the things that i'm trying to do right now it's 15 minutes in and i yeah i just need to really like buckle down and edit it i feel like the podcast editing can wait because i don't want to upload until friday so i have tonight and then I also have tomorrow to edit it. Oh, look at Riley, he's so cute. <laughs> he's all sleeve. I just love him so much. Is somebody gonna start rolling over? Yeah. Are you gonna start rolling over, Katie? Who are you? Yeah, you're gonna start rolling over. Go, Katie. Go, Katie. Go, Katie. Go, Katie. You guys, I just finished editing. I finished editing the vlog. Um, one thing that I'm gonna say is that I want to add more music to my vlogs moving forward. And I feel like I've said this before, I'm sorry. I feel like I've said this before, but I, Kaya wants to say hi. One second, say hi. 
Hi. Okay. Bye bye, Kai Kai. Bye bye. Bye bye. So I I definitely want to add more audio to the vlog. Um, I know that for a fact. So when I get home tonight, and if I'm feeling up to it, I'm going to add like the little audio points at some of the vlog to give it more personality. I'm getting ready for church right now. I think I might just wear my hair free and out. I literally have not been to Wednesday night service. I don't even think since I've been home. So it'll be my first Wednesday night service back. Um, and I am happy. I feel like every time that it's been a Wednesday night service, like I've either had something to do, I was editing a vlog, or I just like didn't have gas to go. Like that's a thing. Like sometimes you just don't have gas to get there. <laughs> so luckily, <laughs> thankfully, I have gas in my car to get to church today. Praise God. Should I do makeup today? Okay guys, so this is the Fitty Fit Fit. It's very basic, very boring, very chill life. Cause that's how I'm feeling right now. But I have on my Anaka sweatpants. You can see the Anaka sign right there. I got these in a large and I feel like my belly is kind of big in them. But they are men's sweatpants. So I can't really be mad at it. But I am excited to wear these for the winter time. Good morning. Good morning, vlog. I hope you guys have a good day whenever you're watching this. I am currently on my way back to Churchy Church. Our women's ministry is holding a morning service for all of the ladies. We have one every other Thursday. So I'm super excited. Um, it's going to be one of my first times going because I usually am working around this time, but I don't have anything on my schedule today. So I'm like, I'm going, I'm going to go have a good time and then come back home and work. So that's what I'm doing. Um, church was really good last night and the pastor was preaching a word about the lies that we feel about sin and making ourselves feel like sin has no impact on us and like things just don't matter when we're living a life of sin. And it was just a really on time word, a really good word. And a lot of people got saved for a Wednesday night and it was just really great. It's so funny because as soon as I was in church last night, of course I got out of church and I had two missed FaceTime calls from of course who other than you know who and I feel like it was just a sign like the devil really wants to keep you in bondage like the devil really wants to keep you in sin and I feel like the worst thing you could do as my ex is call me while I'm in church because that's gonna show me that you're a distraction from what God is speaking to me <laughs> like let's like I don't know that's just how I feel so yeah, I didn't answer, I didn't respond. I'm gonna stay in church and I'm gonna stay investing into myself and what I feel like God is showing me to do. And I feel like God is also telling me like, don't answer that phone, like let me work on him and you go do your thing. So that's what we're doing. And I'm only telling you guys the tea because I know that there's somebody watching that, you know, you are probably in the same situation or you have gone through the same thing, or maybe you're going through the same thing and this is your sign that you need to just, you know, like move forward. And I'm praying that my testimony and that over the course of these next couple of months, over the course of my life, that you guys will see just like a 180 change. And then you, it'll motivate you guys to, you know, take the steps to do what it takes to, you know, lead a prosperous life. Hi vlog, I'm back home from church. It was so good. I just got my Amazon package in the mail. So I got my batteries from Amazon. So I have the Canon EOS Rebel T5. I got the camera a long time ago. So it's not like one of the newer Canon cameras, but 
it is a camera and it's what we're going to use until, you know, God continues to increase and bless us with more money to get a newer camera. So with that being said, I'm going to charge these batteries and then once they're charged, then um, I'm going to put them in my Canon and prayerfully they'll work. I also got a new necklace from Amazon. This necklace was $12. Um, I've been wanting a cross necklace. My friend Gabby was the, actually the one that told me, like, just get it on Amazon. I have this T necklace. It has a T and a crown on it. But I've always wanted a cross necklace and never got one. So this is the cross. Um, it was $12 on Amazon. It's 14 karat gold plated. So... I'm probably gonna have to get a new one in a couple months, but I mean, it's $12, so why not? In comparison to my tea, it looks like, let me unzip this a little bit. Okay, okay, cool. So I wanted the cross to be like right up here. So maybe we can make it a little bit shorter. So. We're gonna put it up here. I'm gonna see if my sister and Maddie. Can you help me really quick? Can you help me? If you're busy, then don't. Is there a way to make this cross tighter? Like, is there a hook to make the necklace tighter? No. 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 There's only one. There's only one hook. It's the one that's on. Okay, yeah. So it's okay. This is what it looks like. It's technically like this long, but I think it'll be fine. So I'm waiting for them to turn green and then we'll put them in the camera. I wanted to show you guys how I'm going to make my mushroom um, steak. Of course, Riley wants to eat some food as soon as I go to record. Give me one second. If you guys ever wondered what I feed my animals, this is what I feed them. Rachel Ray has the best food. Why do I know that? Not because I eat it, but because my animals respond the best to it. And my dog is a very big eater and he just has his preferences and he really likes it. And this is the first ever dog food that my dog has genuinely like fully eaten a bowl of his food and won't like leave it there because he's uninterested okay so i have these portobello mushrooms i bought them from stater brothers and they're really large i'm just going to wash them with some water and then damp dry them with this napkin because i don't want them to absorb all of the water okay so i just damp dried them and just some pressure onto the mushrooms and you guys I could be 100% wrong as to how to properly clean mushrooms but I've never personally gotten sick from one so I think we're good to go okay so I have some steak seasoning some barbecue sauce soy sauce sesame oil just because I feel like it would taste good and some teriyaki sauce so I'm just using a deep bowl like this so that it can sit and marinate and I don't have specific measurements I'm just gonna pour everything into the bowl um, until I feel like it is good to let everything kind of just sit and all of this is going to be sitting overnight. And then I'm going to also poke holes into the mushrooms so that they can soak everything up. Add some barbecue sauce. I usually would also add balsamic vinaigrette into this. But because of the fact that I don't have any, we're not gonna put any. So, yeah. Just like this, and then add some of the steak seasoning. 
So I'm gonna whisk all of this together with a fork. just kind of stab some holes into it because it is kind of thick okay so my nephew just got dropped off to me because my sister-in-law is getting induced today and so they're on their way to go have a baby auntie is about to become an auntie of six and i'm so happy <laughs> you guys this smells so good Okay, so I'm just gonna stir all of the pieces into the marinade. Yeah, I'm gonna flip it over like that. I'm going to put some saran wrap around this, let it sit overnight, and tomorrow we will be cooking our mushroom steaks. Probably going to make tacos with it. Hopefully I can make the steaks with it, they'll be flat, but the way they're falling apart, I don't know. But either way, it's gonna taste good. So we will get an update tomorrow. Good morning vlog. We're about to have a water balloon fight. Hold this for you. Okay, hold this for auntie. Okay, Kai, don't go down there. Come up here, we need to show them how we can fill it up. Put the camera on auntie. Make sure you can see auntie. Okay, okay, turn the camera around, point it to Auntie. No. This way, baby, hold it. Can you see Auntie? Yes. Make sure you can see Auntie, okay? So we have these water balloons. Okay, so I think what we have to do is we have to take these balloons, you guys see them? And we're gonna hook them up to the water fountain and we're gonna pour them into this container. We strap this on here. I put the bowl under here so it'll catch the balloons. So we're gonna turn it on. Ah! Let them fill up. Are they popping? No. It looks like some of them are popping. Okay, so the balloons, the balloons were not working. I think it's because the ones that I was using had been sitting outside for a while. So my sister, here I stay inside, wait for Auntie, okay? Oh stay right there. So, look at that big bug. I definitely have plans on having a water fight with my brother-in-law because, I, you know, I need to get some get back for all the bullying he be trying to put me through. Okay, so we found more water balloons. So we're gonna try this again. All those other ones were duds. So we're gonna turn these on. Yeah. Okay, so far so good. Okay. Yeah, I thought they were supposed to just fall out of here, but I guess not. I just picked them off. Okay, so we're taking like a breather right now. All the children are running around and we haven't had the water balloon fight yet. I think we're gonna have it when they wake up from their nap. Right now they're playing with bubbles, so I'm gonna keep them occupied. But I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat my first meal of the day. I'm gonna have me some chicken fillets. These are the Guardian Ultimate Plant-Based Chicken Fillets, 24 grams of protein per serving, no dairy ingredients, always vegan, and they're spicy. So, I don't really do spice, but I might put some mayo on it. Oh, I don't need to eat any mayo. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put some mayo on it, maybe season the mayo, put some seasoning in it. I wish I had like a garlic aioli spread or something like that, but I don't. So let me show you guys what buns I'm gonna use. Okay, one of them got squished, but these are brioche buns. I got these from Stater Brothers. Comes in a four pack. So I think I'm just gonna make a couple different ones for like everyone just to eat. It gets spicy, so we'll see how it goes. So I think I'm gonna put them in the, ouch. I think I'm gonna put them in the air fryer or I could put them in the oven. Okay, so I got a foil, a 
nonstick pan. But I'm gonna put foil on it because I just don't wanna deal with it. So I'm gonna take the chicken fillets. There's so many children running around, guys. It's just been hectic. You guys, these kids, oh, there's only three in here. What the heck? There's only three in here? What in the world? It's okay. I'm going to make myself these burger patties. They're made by the same brand, but I haven't tried them yet, so we're gonna see how they taste. Um, but it says that I can make them in a skillet, so that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna put these in the oven once the oven is heated and then let those cook. And then I'm gonna try to figure out how to cook these plant-based burger patties because I've never actually used them before. I'm feeling so much better not eating meat. Like, I just noticed that my energy is 10 times better. Um, I know that sometimes like when I'm on my cycle, like my energy is like, but it's not right now. Like, I feel pretty good, so I'm happy for that. If you guys are feeling encouraged to go plant-based, to go vegetarian, vegan, whatever you want to do in order to help your healthy lifestyle, do it, do it, do it, do it. So I made a special sauce off camera. It has mayo, mustard, pesto, some garden vegetable seasoning, some gourmet burger seasoning to give a little bit more flavor because I don't feel like the seasoning really stuck to the patties as much as it could have. And then I'm also gonna use some of this Daya Swiss cheese and I'm just gonna take two patties and set them on top of each patty. So we're gonna take the bottom of the buns and we're going to put some spread on them, like so. So I'm gonna try to do something different. I'm gonna slice these straight across, these green onions. And why don't I make a patty like this? Okay guys, so I tried the sandwich. Okay, so I already tried the sandwich a bit already because it's that good. But I just want to show it to you guys. This is what it looks like. And then I put the great onion and the cheese on it. And it is so yummy. It says it was delivered. I have five minutes. It says it was delivered. Oh, it's heavy. It's got some weight to it. Mm. So. This is so that I can give you guys vlogging content from afar because my sister, she was watching my vlog today and she was like, you're too close up to your face, which I agree. But I feel like this camera that I have, like for the girls that have a Sony ZV-1 or for like anyone who just has a camera, like you know there's different like angles that you get for your camera. So, it's hard to get those wide angles, especially when you're waking up in the morning, like, oh well. But you guys will be able to see what product this is on the screen. So that if you guys want to purchase this, I have that in it will be in my Amazon shop. Ooh, ooh this is nice. I was kind of nervous, you guys, because I, I have a problem, like, when I go on Amazon and I go to buy something, like, I'll just kind of buy it. And I didn't look at the reviews, so I was in my bed last night like, oh my gosh, I didn't look at the reviews, is it even going to be worth it? And right now it's giving everything that it needs to give. It seems very heavy duty, like this thing isn't going anywhere. It also comes with a foam stand, oh, I'm so happy. Okay, yeah, guys, 1010, I haven't even used it yet, but I'm telling you, like 1010, go get you one of these and it makes it get bigger oh, this is so nice you guys good morning vlog it's almost the afternoon today is august 12th i am a new auntie my nephew was born yesterday and i'm so excited to be a new auntie i'm now an auntie of six 
I'm sitting here and I'm editing the pod. I think Quentin wants to say hi to you guys. No, he doesn't. I'm editing the podcast right now. So I'm just taking time to do that. Um, I'm trying to hurry up, but it's very distracting with all these kids. It's very distracting with like five kids in this house. So I'm working, but the goal is to get it uploaded today. We'll see. I have to get to a party today um, at four o'clock. So 11, 12, one, two, three, four hours. So I have like three hours to finish this because I still have time to get ready. Um, but I think I can get it done. So I'm gonna keep editing. I'm halfway through, we're 40 minute, 41 minutes into the episode. So yeah, but that's pretty much it. That's all we're doing today is editing and then I'm going to a birthday party. Us, you guys, we have cucumbers, we have a big one. Under here. Bless you, bless you, bless you, mommy. Can you guys see uh -oh, it? Water the plants. You guys go see it. Right there. We have cucumbers growing, so all of these flowers are gonna start growing into cucumbers. You guys, I'm so bothered right now. Like, oh, I'm not gonna let it get to me. I'm not gonna let it get to me. It is what it is. If it is what it is, then it is what it is. Is what I'm gonna say. You guys, I was editing. As you guys know, I was editing the YouTube video yesterday and it was very hectic because all the kids were here. And I was walking into my room and putting my computer down so everything could upload. And I remember my hard drive like just randomly disconnected from my computer. And everyone knows when something like that happens, you run into the possibility that your hard drive can break and it will not be able to connect to your computer and everything, all the files that are on the hard drive are pretty much lost because the hard drive is not connectable to the computer. Prayerfully, that's not what's happening, but right now I've been trying to connect my hard drive to my computer and it's not reading the hard drive, it's not connecting, which means that if it's not connecting that a lot of content that I have taken, a lot of content that I saved onto the hard drive is now Prayerfully, it's not. If it is, then I'm just gonna have to get over it and we're gonna have to keep moving and we're gonna have to skip whatever month was all on those memory cards that I uploaded onto my hard drive. Which also means I'm gonna have to buy a new hard drive. I'm probably gonna buy two and I'm gonna have to do a double upload of stuff onto each hard drive so that God forbid if that happens again, then I have a backup for the backup and just the whole thing. So yes, my room is a mess right now. It's been a hectic week, but I'm about to start getting ready for this birthday party. The podcast episode is getting uploaded right now, thank God. And I feel like the devil's probably just mad about that and he just wants to attack my mind and make me feel like my, my content is lost and whatever, but I'm not gonna let it get to me. We're gonna continue posting content regardless if we have to skip a month because that's what we're gonna do. So I'm about to get ready to get ready to go to this party. Um, and then I will keep you guys updated on the content and everything like that, but I'm so upset. Hello, vloggy vlog, happy Sunday. It's been a hectic week, so I'm finally getting to these mushrooms. I already have some butter in the skillet, in the cast iron. And so I'm about to put these mushrooms on here. You guys, these have been sitting here for probably like three days. So they're nice and marinated. I'm curious to see what they're gonna taste like. Ooh, yummy. So while those cook, I'm going to use some green onion for my tacos. I think I'm gonna make tacos. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna chop up some green onion. As you guys can see, it's set on the hot bread. So good. One time when I made mushrooms and Quentin had the mushroom tacos, he said they were so good and they taste like thick. That's a win for me. You, Talking to me? Yeah. You said you didn't want any. Yeah, make sure you have enough so I can eat one. I literally just said on the vlog that you were gonna vlog. 
Block. Didn't I say he was gonna say he wanted some, and now he's saying, "I hope you have enough for me." He literally just said, "I hope you have enough for me," and he said he wasn't gonna want any vlog. I'm gonna share with him because you know I'm, you know I'm trying to be a better woman, you know. I'll cut this one thinner just so you can have a taco. Will you do it? Was it yummy? Okay, guys, here are my tacos. So yummy. I made myself three. I added some of this vegan shredded cheese that my sister had. Okay, guys, so I already started eating the tacos, but I'm going to show you guys what they look like. Here's the mushroom. I'm taking some of this jalapeno hot sauce. I don't know if you guys can even see it. There you go. I stole it from my brother in law. He said it's not supposed to be that hot. So I'm taking his word for it. It's gross. Clean it. Trying something new, you guys. I am going to let you guys watch me clean my messy bathroom. So we're going to use my camera stand that I got. God, you call me by my name The love you give me, I just can't deny Yeah. No longer blinded, I can see you I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you When weary of my flesh You awake me from death God, I need you I'm more walking by the flesh, that's when I leave God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm Told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Know that I'm someone, No, I'm a child of God I wanna go to Godly way, close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I wanna go to Godly way Close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I know you know me well I said the days of all until you tell me you're right here I can't so plan with you to be with sin and break your heart Sometimes I go to your phone, but you give like Okay, guys Everything is all clean The shower is all fresh and scrub down. I want to show you guys this squeegee in this brush that I got. I got the squeegee um, on Amazon. I can add the squeegee link into the Home Goods um, link on my Amazon store. I think I got the brush from like Target or Walmart or something, but just get a brush to clean it. So. Everything is wiped down, everything is clean. It just feels so fresh in here. Okay, so the next battle is this bedroom. Um, the room is a mess, as you guys can clearly tell. We have things all over the floor, have clothes all over the floor. These are shoes that I wanna either throw away or add into the Tabernacle closet to get rid of. And then I have to hang up these clothes over here. Yeah, I know it's been a little while, but I gotta let them know. Yeah. Gotta let them know. If you ever been down, opportunity to grow. Yeah. I know you having trouble understanding it. If you trust in God, he got his hands in it. I promise to protect you like a slam in it. Plug it in, boom, and then I plug it into the wall. 
and it has different settings on it. So you can like pick what scent setting you want it on. I have it on the second to highest one, iced dragon fruit tea. So yummy, it smells so good. I just burned all of my champagne toast one. So me and the girls are going to get coffee tomorrow. So I'm going to get a new one because I got a free reward for a new candle. So I'm gonna use it tomorrow. So I'm gonna spend on money. But right now I'm hanging up my clothes I'm off the chair. Look at Cyrus. Yo, you that's my guy. <laughs> Auntie, yeah, see up in the room. Yeah, me. And you see you? Yeah. What's your name? I'm Cameron. Cameron? Yeah. Wow. Your name is Cameron. How old are you? I'm uh, uh, four. No. You're not four. How old are you? Uh, uh, three. No. Two. Two. You're two. You two. How old are you, Cameron? Um, Say, I'm two. See, I two. Yeah, you're two. How old are you, Cameron? Um, I'm, I'm two. Good job, baby. Hello, guys. <laughs> Got the leaves and the grapes. What did you just say? I did, I got the moves and the grooves. You have the moves and the grooves. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. I guess. Look at my dad. Kaga has the moves and the grooves. Good morning, vloggy vlog. I'm about to get in the shower. It is 11.58. It is August 14th. We're listening to what no strings by uninvited. It's he's a Christian RB hip hop artist, whatever you want to call it. I encourage you guys to listen. It's playing in my TV right now. But you guys, I'm so happy because this bathroom is clean. I made my bed. I don't know if you guys can see it from this distance. Yeah, no, you guys can't see. Yeah, no, you can't see my room from here. But I made my bed finally, so I'm about to get in the shower because I'm going on a coffee date with the girls today. So I'm very excited, <laughs> to say the least. Um, but I need to figure out my hair. I don't want to put my hair up. I kind of want to wear it down, but the girls just haven't been doing what I've been needing them to do lately. So I'm kind of sad about that, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to try to use some of this curl box that I got from cleaning my room. Oh, no, not that one. That's the Dove one. I still haven't decided what I'm going to do with my Dove curl box. Okay. So I think I'm going to start trying to use this curl box that I got in the mail, the Miel one. I'm not going to shampoo today. I think I'm just going to... Um, condition and hydrate because I've shampooed a couple times um, this in the past couple weeks and I'm, I don't think my hair needs any more shampoo so I'm just gonna rinse my hair out in the shower and then I'm gonna use these products from Curlbox they didn't get that high rating from Yucca but they're all that I have right now so until we can get better products this is what we're gonna use so I will see you guys when I get out of the shower. <laughs> so we have a t-shirt on. I think I got this from Target. Super basic. Super chill for the day. We have on uh, black biker shorts. Black netted biker shorts. With the white and pink pumas. Bloop. Ooh. Yeah, we're comfy by room today. I so far, so far so good as far as the hair. I used the Miel um, leave-in conditioner and the curl perfector. I didn't put any conditioner in my hair. Um, I just washed out the product that I had in my hair from 
when I my hair was up in a bun and then I just put in the curl perfector I put in some of the design essentials mousse as well and this is what it looks like good morning vloggy vlog today is Tuesday August 15th um, I just woke up I'm about to take a shower because I, I didn't shower last night, but <laughs> I was tired. Um, I was up reading my Bible a lot last night and I just was looking up certain scriptures and certain verses to read and yeah, it was a good word last night, but I went straight to sleep. I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like, did I really just go to sleep without taking a shower? But it's okay, no judgment. And the crazy thing is I just washed my sheets, so I'm kind of like annoyed by that, but it's okay. All I did was really go out with the girls, so it's it's okay, it's okay. But with that being said, today it's not a busy day. Today is just a really work day, um, content day. I wanna post a reel today, and <clears throat> that is pretty much it. So I'm about to go take a shower. I am currently taking content right now on my phone. Say hello. And yeah, just wanna encourage the girlies to get on their content vibe and just record whatever you wanna record and do whatever you wanna do. So I'm going to leave this bonnet on today because um, as you guys know, I put the Miel products in my hair. Um, so I'm going to see how these products go without actually like just like wetting my hair. I'm just gonna spritz my hair and then put these products back in my hair. And then I've been loving, of course, the originals by Africa's Best. Um, this is the Olive and Clove Hair and Scalp Therapy Oil. My hair always looks so shiny, it always looks so healthy, it always looks so just like the way that I want it to look whenever I put this oil in my hair. So I'm hoping that these three combined will work. Um, I also put this product in my hair yester yesterday. I don't know if I'm gonna use it again, just because like I just don't really care for mousses. I feel like it doesn't really help my hair as much i feel like it dries it out if anything so you guys can you know if you guys like mousse if your hair responds all the mousse then use it i don't really feel like my hair responds best to mousse but if someone has a reason why i should use it or if there's a better way to use it then let me know because right now i just put it in my hand i just rake it through i don't know any other way to do it so it just i don't know let me know in the comments how y'all feel about mousse and we'll see if y'all can change my mind. So I'm about to get in the shower and then I will see you guys when I get out. My mind is just overwhelmed right now because I want to like post more content. Like I just posted a reel um, of me pretty much to like encouraging people to create content on their different platforms. And honestly, like it's really just word to myself because <laughs> I am so hard on myself and I don't feel like I should be because, you know, like when you're content creating, like you just need to try your best. And that's really all that matters is just making sure that you're not only just like posting content that you want people to see, but also that you're like seeing like, okay, like what do my supporters, subscribers, followers, like what do they gravitate to more? And I personally like don't know the answer to that question. So if you guys could like leave it in the comments, like what kind of content would you guys like honestly truly be interested in seeing for me? Because I just kind of like, I guess like this is what people would want to see. But also it's just like, this is what I do in my day-to-day -day life. So I don't want to like fake kick it. Like I do certain things in my life that aren't true. So yeah, you guys, let me know. 
But right now we're just putting these products in my hair. I hate like sprays because I feel like they don't, <laughs> I feel like they just don't give you with as much coverage as you want as far as like product in your hair. So I'm gonna take the Pro Perfector and I'm just gonna take little bits and I'm gonna section my hair and finger comb it through each section to kind of get more coverage as far as product. But this is what the curls are looking like right now. These pieces literally always go straight. And I hate that. I'm hoping that this hair comes out good today because I would really genuinely like to take a picture today for Instagram because I haven't posted in probably like two or three weeks and that's not good for a content creator. Like it's not good. Ideally like you should post like once a week or so whether it be a reel or like a main page post but I haven't done any of that like the first reel that I posted today was a reel that like the last reel I had posted since then was like three weeks ago which is not good so my insights were at like 18,000 and they just dropped this morning to like 6.5 thousand so I'm gonna get back on my um, content grind. I hope you guys feel me on that. Um, let's do a little bit more in the back. Here's the back of my head. I hate doing the back of my head, you guys. Like, it's so bothersome doing the back of your head because you can't see it. Like, everyone else sees it, <laughs> but you don't. Know. And also the back of my head is just a whole different curl texture. So we're gonna let this product sit. I'm just kind of like tired of how dry my ends look. Like I just feel like my ends look dry and my hair always has like this shape to it where I look like a mushroom. I feel like a mushroom. So I'm just being honest. So we're gonna let this product sit and We'll see how it goes throughout the day. Um, but yeah, highlights are probably coming soon because I just need a change right now. Okay, I will see you guys later. Bye. My homegirl texted me and was pretty much like asking me about me and my ex and And he pretty much just like texted her, like checking in on me. And like, I just, it just bothers me because it's like, like I do my best to like stay out the drama, stay out of like stuff. Is this? straight it's very irritating for me i'm just gonna give you guys a story time as i cook because i just feel like venting right now and it's just like very irritating for me so i'm just like really irritated and bothered because it's like bro just like just like go do your thing like go move on like he texted her like pretty much saying like oh how is she doing do 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 and I'm just like, I'm fine. Like, I'm fine. Like, let's not do that. And it's just like really annoying to me because like men really like will have really no genuine intent on like really like doing what you have required for them to do. And it's just very just frustrating for me because like I'm really genuinely like trying to move away from him in the situation. And I just feel like it's like an attack of the devil on my mind whenever something like that happens. 
So I'm definitely going to get into my Bible study as soon as I put these in the air fryer. Um, just to kind of, you know, reboot my mind and also just like to get my mind clearer. I started doing a Bible study um, just for like scriptures to keep me encouraged in my waiting season for my spirit led husband and I like just like genuinely I'm like trying to stay positive and like trying to remain like in peace and in like just like understanding of my situation so with that being said like I just like I don't want any distractions so I'm definitely gonna tell my homegirl like hey like moving forward when it comes to him like even if he does text you even if he does message you yeah i'm definitely just like i don't want to be like in a situation that i know is not good for me anymore like i want peace like i want to be in a relationship with someone who genuinely loves me and cares about me and actually has pure intentions um so I'm not going to let it bother me too much because I know that's what the devil wants, but I'm definitely about to get into my Bible study and just focus on that. <sighs> but yeah, guys, I'm just genuinely just like over all of it and just like, bro, like just move on, bro. Like move on with your life. Go do what you want to do. Like another problem was that he was just so friendly with females. Like I just... <sighs> It just really just bothers me how friendly he is with like other women and i just feel like once you get to a certain age in your life like especially if you consider yourself like in a relationship and stuff like that there's just some things that shouldn't be allowed and being super friendly with a whole bunch of women i just believe is one of them and my thing is like i don't care if y'all grew up together i don't care if y'all have known each other since kindergarten at a certain point in time like there's a respect level that has to be high and that respect level just wasn't being met tortilla chips didn't turn out well at all like i wouldn't recommend air frying corn tortilla chips i should have just put them on the stove in some oil but i wanted to save on oil and it was just a bad idea so i didn't eat until now so now i'm about to eat some jasmine rice with some barbecue jackfruit and some green onions and i'm going to bed so yeah but i have on the cat tv for cyrus and i feel like he's enjoying it so yeah <laughs> turn on a tv for your cat on youtube just search cat tv and you'll find stuff for them to watch so he's watching and i think it's so funny good night guys good morning good morning Good morning vlog. We have two minutes left on the memory card. So I have no clue when the next content will be done. I gotta check my memory cards. And because my hard drive is not working, I have no clue what I'm gonna do as far as exporting the um, content. But hold on Kaya, as soon as everything is up and ready, then you guys will be seeing these vlogs. All my content is lost, but it's okay because now we're on track. So, yay. See you guys once I finally get everything organized. <laughs>